right, folks. So we've got a bit of an interesting uh, video topic here. So you guys know, <clears throat> you guys know Dave Rubin. Now something interesting's been going on with Dave Rubin, uh, and that it's basically we don't really hear much from him anymore. There's not that much commotion around him anymore. And uh, recently, he announced that he's putting out his book, which, by the way, and I didn't know this when I made my video. His book, this is just a pre-order. His book doesn't even come out until April. Guys, we're in August right now, end of August, and he's selling a he's selling a book that's going to be, you know, pre-order for April, dude. That's like that's almost a year away. It's like 8 months away uh from now, and he's selling it for pre-order, which is absolute insanity, and I didn't know that, but apparently, and I don't know if this is true, but I read that basically he needs some sort of motivation to write the book, and so he needs to set a deadline or something like that. So basically what that means is he's so lazy that he can't even put the book together is what that means. But in addition, we really haven't been hearing from Jordan Peterson at all either, to be honest. I have not I have not heard much about Jordan Peterson in quite a while. Last time I heard about him was the scandal he had with the whole college situation where he had the scam fellowship. Um, so this is interesting. So this actually comes from uh, the Dave Rubin subreddit. If you don't know about the Dave Rubin subreddit... It's a subreddit where basically it's supposed to be Dave Rubin's fans, but it's actually a bunch of people who crap on him. So they brought this up. It says Dave's views seem to be plummeting. Go to his YouTube channel. Most of the new clips are in the low tens of thousands for views. And it says, for example, and it says, you know, why I wrote Don't Burn This Book, 16K. The Future of Fighting Disease, 18K. Charlie Kirk, 33K views as opposed to nearly 200,000 in a 2018 interview with him. Clickbait a video about how a huge announcement is coming, 37k views. This is a massive drop from a year or so ago when Dave was consistently getting hundreds of thousands of views and his viewership often ran into the millions. I would need to get firmer statistics, but at first blush it would seem that Dave Rubin's viewership is collapsing. And it says even these low numbers may be exaggerated insofar as a good chunk of the viewers are simply trolling Dave. This can be seen from a quick look at the comment section of any of the videos to which I linked, which we will do that in a second here. So this is a very interesting notice here. And so if we just sort of, uh, first we can just kind of glance at his channel page. The views are pretty low. You know, you got 5.2K, this was posted 18 hours ago. You know, 7.1K, you know, 19K. Like these are low numbers for a channel like this, of this size. This channel has like 800,000 plus, I believe, subscribers. So getting those kinds of numbers on a, on a video like the, on videos like these are really really bad on this channel. It really is terrible, and all it really explains to you why it's pretty basic. Okay, like some random guy like I don't know who Jamie Metzel is, <laughs> but like and I don't know who the heck Brendan O'Neill or any of these guys are, but these people are not the people who bring in. They are not the gravy train. Okay, the gravy train for Dave Rubin has always been. It started out with Sam Harris. That's how he originally got his show off the ground, was by having Sam Harris on his show. Those videos would get a bunch of views. And then it turned into a combination of Ben Shapino and also uh, Jordan Peterson. And also, he also hopped on the Milo Yiannopoulos train. He's a big-time trend hopper. He's kind of like Drake. You know, Drake would go to, like, uh, hop a bunch of trends, like, with YG and, you know, with uh, Future and with The Weeknd and everyone. He just hops all the w waves and trends. That's what he does. Remember, he was on the Sam Harris train. That's what kicked off his show. Then he ditched him completely. They barely talk anymore. You know, uh, Milo Yiannopoulos totally ditched him once it got even slightly controversial. Uh, you know, then Ben Chapino and Jordan Peterson are the last people standing. And even they don't seem to have done anything in quite a while. But... You know, those are the people who are his gravy train. Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson, the people who break in the views. And that's why he kept bringing them on. He would keep bringing them on over and over again because no one wants to watch any of these other interviews. These other interviews suck. They're not interesting even in the slightest. And then, if we take a quick peek here to Social Blade statistics, his numbers are down. Now, this says up 4% at 2.5 million views in the last 30 days. This number is down, 41.7%. Only 6K subscribers. That's a low sub increase, and I guess he has over a million subs. A lot of those probably bots. But uh, if we go down here and look at some of the deeper trends, it's actually looking even worse. It's looking even worse for the man. So as you can see here, up here, he's always been somewhere between, like, you know, for a while, 
somewhere between like you know four and almost six million views but it looks like he had a steep drop off here okay a couple months ago where he hit only two million views 2.83 and then 2.8 as you can see all three of these months are really lower than any of these pretty significantly as you can see okay you know <clears throat> anything below this sort of 3.8 number is in the low quadrant so it's certainly going down and if you look at the subs honestly it looks even worse so i mean you look at these numbers for a while you know it was in the solid like 20s now it's really dipped off into 8.5 10 and you know not 10 again and you know he's this month he's only put at 6.4 um i think a lot of this just has to do with dave is just a lazy guy I think that Dave is just a lazy guy, and also, his his bogey stuff where he talks about like this going off the grid thing, it's just go his quote going off the grid nonsense is just cover for being lazy. Like as someone who's political and you know doing that, like if you want to take a weekend, like let's say, you know you want to take a couple weekends off or whatever from paying attention to politics, okay, fine, or certain breaks. This guy does them nonstop. And he uses he uses the idea of like this is like a mental cleanser as a cover when really what he's doing is he's just like he's just not caring about politics and he's not staying up to date like as someone who is a political person if your job is politically related you've got to stick to the news you've got to stick up now again if you want to take a break over the weekend and come back and you know overrun or in the summer you want to take a month off whatever okay whatever although the summer month off is a bit much too but. <laughs> Like, that's just, a, that's just his cover for being lazy. It's just a front. It's a front for being lazy is what it is. Now, if we go ahead and actually take a peek over here at this video, this video right here is an excerpt. It's an excerpt from his video, or his live stream that he did where he was unveiling his book. This video is titled, Dave Rubin's Book Revealed, Rubin Report. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these comments. The top one says, Please debate Sam Cedar. Uh, in all caps, Sam Cedar with... Uh, periods in between each letter another one says i'll buy this book if you debate zam zeter sedate sam seed cam cedar you should get sam cedar with you know dollar sign at <laughs> to write a foreword to the book no one says you are the magic david all flows from me. you should challenge the sucker sam cedar at the majority report to a debate Good job on the book. I'm glad to see so much competition in the marketplace of ideas. Also, you should debate Sam Cedar again with the dollar signs. And it just says debate Sam Cedar with the dollar signs. Now, if you're wondering why everyone is doing this instead of just putting Sam Cedar, it's because it is alleged that he has shadow banned the, the name Sam Cedar from his comment section. Uh, you know, another one says debate Samuel L. Cedarson. You could destroy Sam. I am Cedar in a debate. Book should be called. I've done 99 interviews, but Sam Cedar ain't one. There's just a, it's this is everything, dude. Are you afraid of slam speed? Like all of this is just it's flooded with this. This is basically all you can find, and I don't even know how this happened because it's pretty tough to have a comment section a hundred percent flooded with any sort of comment, one specific comment. But it seems like it's happened now. Whether or not I'm really for this, like, it, it's kind of creepy, honestly. Like, if I were Dave Rubin, I would look at that. I'd be, like, be kind of creeped out and weirded out. And um, I don't think this help. I don't think it helps anything. I don't know. I just don't feel like that is It's certainly not going to change his mind about having a convo with Sam Cedar. Obviously, it's not going to do that. But I just don't know what it really does. But I guess it's funny. <laughs> but it is kind of weird at the same time. Uh, some of the ones are like debate yam yeeter and just stuff like that, which eh, I find I find to be fairly funny. I find to be fairly funny. I can see how those are funny, but Dave, it looks like Dave's uh, audience really is plummeting. It really does seem that way, and it's mainly because he's kind of a lazy guy. You know, he remember the video that I did about the Jordan Peterson fan who roasted Dave Rubin. Because basically she was like, oh, like, I'd hate to be Dave Rubin doing, like, these sad opens for Jordan Peterson shows, and that's your career. He's just, like, he's he's a lazy guy who does this little work for some money. Now he's putting together a crap book, which some people are saying he's not even writing the book. Some people are saying he's having the book ghost ghostwritten, you know. Like, a lot of people have their books ghostwritten where they don't actually write the book, and then they just put it out under their name, but someone else wrote it, you know, which is also possible. Um, I also found this the alleged detail that he needed a date 
to motivate himself to put this book out. I found that to be pretty, pretty funny as well, and I think the book is going to be a pretty massive downfall. I also haven't heard much from Jordan Peterson in a while either. I'm not exactly sure why, but he's making bank. That dude pulls between 7 and $10 million a, um, a year, so... You know, that guy, uh, he's certainly making a lot of money. I think Dave Dave wants to really do it. But, again, man, if we if we just look down here, man, he's really he's really struggling, dude. I mean, if you just look at these right here, just, oof, just really bad. Like 16K, 5K, 7K. He's struggling, man. He's struggling, man. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Very curious to hear them.